Hey guys, this is Will with LPT Realty and I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope you're also enjoying the holiday season. Right here we are back in Lake Nona and if you recall I did a Lake Nona video a little bit over a year ago but I wanted to come back because a lot has changed. You guys really liked the video so I want to talk about what's changed in our market here, what's still to come, why people still love this place and really just kind of rehash all the stuff from the last video and incorporate what's really changed in the past year because a lot of things are different. But before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with everything we have coming to you in Lake Nona and the Central Florida area. So let's talk about Lake Nona and what's changed in 2022 and beyond. <music> So for those that don't already know, Lake Nona is located in the southeast corner of Orlando, sitting right on the border of Orange and Osceola counties. The really good thing about it is, even though you look like you're really far pulled back, you're really not too far from anything Orlando has to offer. You're only about 15 minutes from the airport, which is great. You're about 20 minutes from Universal, 20 to 25 minutes from downtown Orlando, another 35, 40, give or take, from Disney. So even though you look like you're further out, you're still not too far from everything Orlando has to offer. So I think the coolest thing about Lake Dona really is just how cool it is. Um, when you ask residents that live here and people that have reached out to me even about moving to Orlando, you really kind of get this idea that Lake Nona really is separated from the rest of Orlando almost. It's really the most modern community we have here when we talk about growth and new development. If you live in Laurier Park here, it's super walkable. And they've really kind of capitalized on that whole live, play, work theme that we've seen rise out of COVID. So if you really live in Laurier Park and you want to grab something to eat, you can take a bike ride up to the town center, go to Bosterus, go to Chroma. Really, you have all these options here, Foxtail Coffee, and you really, it's not too far from you. It allows you to be active, have fun, all within your own self-contained community. And if you go up Narcusi Road, you have all the shopping you need. You have a Walmart, Publix, shop home goods, really you name it, they have it here. If you really want something, you don't need to leave Lake Nona. On top of that, everything here is new. It's fun, as you can see, it's even festive. And it's really kind of, really kind of grown this community that sometimes some neighborhoods or towns in Orlando may not really have. Another big reason I think residents love calling this place home and why people reach out to me about Lake Nona when they're discussing their move to Orlando is because it's really one of the only places within the city of Orlando that you can get new construction homes. Now, a lot of people thought they missed the boat with Laurier Park, but you still do have options in Laurier Park South by Craft Homes, and Jones Homes is still building over in Eagle Creek. So if you want a brand new home, you can still get that here. However, because the whole area is relatively new, you still have access to all those newer construction homes that have been built in the past few years. The biggest reason I wanted to do this video today, however, is the market has changed a lot in the past year, even here in Lake Nona. Now, if you guys recall, I did say Lake Nona passed Dr. Phillips last year as the most expensive zip code in the city of Orlando. And while that remains true, we have definitely seen some price reductions in a lot of our homes here, which has become a product of our global inflation that we're experiencing, which has caused those mortgage rates to rise. Now, when I did this video around this time last year, interest rates were selling about three and a half percent and homes here were selling for about five hundred and forty thousand dollars on median today however those rates are at six and a half percent those homes are selling for six hundred thousand dollars so those same homes are a bit more expensive both purchase price wise and on your monthly because that interest rate has gone up a ton since last year however i think this has created a unique opportunity for both buyers and sellers in our market <music>
So when compared to pre-pandemic inventory levels, inventory levels here in Lake Nona are still relatively low. Now compared to last year where homes were selling in five days or less, we've definitely got a bit better. Today homes are selling in about 15 days, which I think tells a little bit different of a story than most of you may assume. Now, it doesn't mean that there's more homes on the market, but because these rates have risen so fast so quickly, that has tapered buyer demand down a ton. So I think it kind of tells a story of getting buyers back that leverage, giving them a little bit more strength in these negotiations that they really haven't had the past two years, which ultimately I think is a bit of a healthy thing. Um, working with people here in Lake Nona, being a former resident myself, it was tough for a lot of people. And I think now buyers are getting an opportunity to get homes where in the past, the competition wouldn't allow you to do so. So I'll never say if it's a good or bad time to buy. However, I do think if you don't wanna compete against 10 offers and still be in an area that's growing and changing, and really just look at it as a good investment overall because of where it is and what it's becoming, I think Lake Nona is still a great option for you and right now allows you to lock a price in, whereas here, the rent goes up astronomically as well. You have a set payment, you have a set price, and Laid it on the line, you can probably refinance. Now, if you recall earlier in the video, I said homes at this point last year were selling on median for about $540,000, while this year they're sitting right at about $600,000. However, we did peak out in July at about $740,000. Now, that does seem like a strong drop. However, you have to factor in sales are a lot lower this year, and really buyer demand has tapered down. The cost of capital is more expensive to borrow. You have less buyers in the market. So if you are buying, that is something to watch out for. I would say from July really to about October, you did see a lot of price reductions, a lot of people coming down on their price, homes sitting longer days on market. However, October on, we really kind of leveled out. I actually put an offer in October and we didn't win and it went, the home went like this. It reminded me of last year. So if a home's still priced well, where it should kind of appraise, they will still go quickly because there really isn't a ton of inventory. You're really just relying on the fact that buyer demand is remaining pretty low right now. That's kind of easing some of that competition for people that are waiting for those rates to come down. And what I'm really excited to close this video with, because you can't really do it a whole bunch of places in Central Florida, is really what's coming to Lake Nona. Now, if you recall, when I did this exact video last year none of this was here the wave hotel wasn't even here it was still being constructed on the rest of the town center the garage everything they've built none of that was here and i think that just goes to show that developers have really bet on lake nona every other day you're hearing of a new company that's moving here um, new commercial development going on disney recently announced about four days ago that they're probably going to be moving forward with that imagineering project um, right here in lake nona as well so really the coolest thing about it too is the fact that it's growing so much and there's a ton to come and i think even though it's been here for a little bit you're still somewhat early because it hasn't fully matured yet i mean it's definitely a little bit further along than sunbridge down the street in st cloud but there's still so much to come and it's really cool because i think residents are taking a lot of pride in this community and it's really awesome growing up in central florida my whole life to see how much this area has changed and how quickly it's changing in such a short period of time well i hope you guys enjoyed that super quick video we did on the lake nona area recapping what's kind of gone on here in 2022 and hopefully giving you an understanding of what's might come later in 2023 now if you want to stay up to date with everything coming to you in that central florida area click that subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with everything and if you're looking to look to orlando or really anywhere else in central florida i'd love to be your real agent of choice gonna leave my contact information down below for you guys but i'm gonna catch you guys next time Later.